Becker, your resident pet health expert here at Vitality Science. I hear a lot of animals that aren't eating because they're sick and people want to know why that is and it's a very long and drawn out kind of dissertation and there's a lot of factors to it so usually you have to imagine you have to envision when you are sick you kind of don't feel like eating too and that is because your body is just trying to readjust and put all of its efforts towards getting rid of whatever issue is going on so your stomach may be like really upset so you do something to settle the stomach and in this case we you uh, vitality sciences feline and canine comfort feline and canine comfort has slippery elm in it which is really beneficial it helps to coat a mucilastic um coating over the intestinal tract so it just really makes it feel better it has psyllium seeds in it which is a fiber um, it has arabinoglacton in it which helps to regulate the blood sugar and um, also another fiber and it also raises the immune system it has our pet flora probiotics in it so that is also going to help with acidity and reflourishing the intestinal tract it has super pet enzymes in it which helps to break down food particles and um, help the, the body to obtain nutrients from the food. Um, and there's just a whole bunch of other really great ingredients in there like L-glutamine, which helps to repair torn tissues, all things to help you know soothe and comfort the stomach. And so if you are finding that your animal is not eating all of a sudden, you know, say they've had diarrhea for the last five months or something, eventually their stomach is just gonna feel so raw and so sick that they're not going to wanna eat that thing that they think is actually making them sick. So until you can actually um, address the situation and what's going on, then I would highly recommend doing feline or canine comfort. Um, this will, you know, it's not a replacement for food, of course, but it is something that will make their bellies feel better and hopefully then they will start to eat a little bit more. Now keep in mind that animals and humans do fast. So if they were in the wild and they felt sick, they wouldn't eat anything for a few days and that's okay. As long as they're getting water, you have to make sure that they are getting water. Now, if you do decide to fast your animal, you can do it with the feline or canine comfort products and making sure that they get water. And if they're not eating, then we always do send along a syringe or you can just ask us to send you a syringe or you can go to CVS or something and you would just mix the comfort with water, suck it up into the syringe and give it to the animal. This way, at least they're getting some sort of like fiber and filling in their stomach and they won't like meow or bark so much because they want to get fed it's kind of taking away that natural hydrochloric acid that comes up when animals and humans are hungry so you have to pull that acid out and soothe their stomach giving them a little bit of something to help them go over this fast now fasting helps you to reset your clock you know a lot of people will do a fast one day a week or you know jesus fasted for 40 days and 40 nights and you know people will fast uh dogs and cats can do it too um we say like between 24 and 72 hours depending on how severe the issue is but my 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 thing in saying this to you is that it's kind of okay if they stop eating for a few days as long as you have the supplementation of the comfort products now of course i always always say that every animal owner should have our lux light lux light is really good in this issue because it helps to draw out toxins and acidity so say they're not eating so but they're still getting this natural production of hydrochloric acid that comes up you are gonna to wanna to reduce that acidity and then Luxolite would be really good for that. So if you, even better if you decide to fast them, you would do it with Feline Comfort and Luxolite and that would really help to take away those hunger pangs and um, you know the acidity that occurs when they're not eating. And hopefully the thought is once their body has reset and starts feeling better that they'll start um, 
they'll start eating again. Yeah, and it just depends. Like, so if they have cancer, you know, or if they're dealing with something that is creating a lot of acidity in their intestinal tract, um, I would highly recommend looking into our Seliquent products. Seliquent um, Gold and Seliquent Green are really good. They have a high value of nutrients. And so even if your animal isn't eating, um, you could still give them the Seliquent and have a proper amount of nutrients for a few days. I mean, honestly, it's not a food source, but it is something that gives them proper nutrients. For example, it has spirulina in it, and spirulina was desi designed to heal hunger, to cure hunger, So, because it had so many nutrients in it. And so we put spirulina in there as well, blue-green algae as it's called sometimes, um, for that nutrient value. So if they are losing nutrients, they're losing weight, you know, be it from extreme diarrhea or just like not even eating over time, this will give them some proper nutrients in that sense. So, um, so yeah, definitely look into our Seliquent, Seliquent products for that and above and beyond everything else that Seliquent does. It's really good, um, almost like an appetite stimulator. So people always ask like, what appetite stimulator do you recommend? Quite honestly, I don't believe in putting something on the food that is just going to stimulate the appetite. I want to think about putting something in the body that cures the situation and why they're not eating, right? So my view of appetite stimulators, quote unquote, um, are, are more the Seliquent and the Comfort products and the Luxlite because it's helping to reduce that pain so that they can eat again. Animals are smart and they're not going to eat something that makes them feel bad. So also just keeping in mind, um, coming back to the food, Coming back to the food, just keeping in mind that you want to reduce inflammation at all points. So um, if you know if you're you have been told your animal has like IBS or IBD, these letters stand for inflammation bowel syndrome inflammation bowel disease, right? So this is inflammation. Obviously, there's enough inflammation to get a name like IBS or IBD. So we want to reduce the inflammation as much as possible in all respects. So you want to do like filtered water and um, you want to stay away from corn, wheat, soy, chicken, turkey, and duck. These things help they create more inflammation. So if your animal is dealing with one of these issues, um, you will want to reduce those situations. If you have an animal with sensitive stomachs and they're currently eating these proteins, these um, bird proteins, you will want to go to a more gentle protein like um, lamb, venison, uh, rabbit, and whitefish. These are really gentle on the stomach. And again, you really have to think about if you were sick and you were feeling bad, would you want to eat like red meat, like this heavy red meat. No, of course you wouldn't. You would want something light and something that like feels gentle to your stomach. So you're going to want to think about, um, you know, lamb, venison, rabbit, and whitefish, something. And then also just keeping in mind the old home remedy trick of canned pumpkin. Canned pumpkin has an enzyme and a fiber, and it really could help to like soothe the intestinal tract for like the moment. Um, so those are just something you can grab off the shelf. Make sure it's no spices, organic, you know, already pre-cooked canned pumpkin. That, that sometimes helps. Thank you.